I had dropped out because I couldn't take it anymore. Like and subscribe right now, or this spider will crawl on your face when you are sleeping. My 600 Pound Life is an American reality television going since 2012. The lives of copious people who weigh at least 600 pounds, 270 kg, and their journey toward one step closer to a healthier life. The program is run under the supervision of doctor, now an Iranian American Houston surgeon, who puts them on a strict diet for them to lose weight. Then, depending on the patient's progress in losing the weight, they are offered gastric bypass surgery or sleeve gastrectomy to aid in weight loss. Though doctor now being who is best in the business and is known for providing the best solution for his patient, the surgeon isn't known for his chatter, but he lets his patients know what they're facing without dwindling their humanity. However, some of the patients can drive him crazy too. Dr. Naud was infamous for his dedication and his fierceness bears no negligence toward his diet regime, which can lead people drop from the program or they quitting too. Here and now, will I one such patient named Gene Covey who ended up quitting the show? This patient called it off and quit Dr. Naud's program. Gene Covey Jean Wade was a 39-year-old woman who lives in Texas, and we saw her on Season 7, Episode 11 of My 600-Pound Life. When she met with Dr. Now for the first time, she was, at the peak, weighing 702 pounds. When she began her year-long weight loss journey, she shared that the reason behind the condition was is because of her terrible childhood experience. She shared that her parents' divorce and being molested by her mother's boyfriend made her morose. Jean's mother Barbara revealed that when she was just five, when she began stealing snacks, to annoying her abusive grandmother, and to retaliate she started sneaking junk food in her room. My life can't get any worse, but my body and my health are getting worse by the day. And became addicted to binge eating and ended up becoming immobile, and could not perform minor tasks on her own. Food became a way to find solace. Jean was taken to different weight loss specialists over the years, but none of it helped. Her mother, Babara, helps with everything, even her hygiene needs, because she had an outgrow which had started to bleed. Doctor now told her that this wound could end up killing her, so she should be determined to change her life way around. On her way to Doctor Now's place, she asked her mother to stop for a rest, and that she asked for stretching her legs or lying in the back seat. She was just craving soda and for a B.I.G. one. Their gene thought people were mocking her from across the gas station parking lot and vented out her anger on her mother, nearly breaking down while doing it. She kept on saying, I hate people. They think that having some kind of disability, that it's funny, you know, because they're normal or whatever. Do you know? Karma will come back. She tried her best not to let them get to her. But when they're sitting over there, she sees people talking and walking around and everything. She shouted, if you want to take a picture, just take a picture. If everybody minded their own business, then people like me wouldn't feel the way we do. We wouldn't feel like we weren't a part of society. Because of her weight, she struggled with getting in the car and sitting for such a long journey, so she kept on saying that. I'm in so much pain, right now. I don't know how I'm going to make it three more hours. I just wish we had a bigger vehicle, or that there was somewhere I could get out and rest. But I can't walk far, and I'm not interested in being a freak show. I can see people already staring at me and probably making comments about how big I am. I'm not giving myself a pass, but it means that I can do it. That's too bad habit you had. And I don't need to deal with that. So I'm just not getting out because people are jerks. Jean's life had been a drifty ride and it only seemed to get worse during her time on the show of my 600 pound life. On the show, she kept saying that my life can get worse than this. My body and my health are getting worse by the day. At the beginning of the show, she appears in a messy home with her mother and a father who himself was suffering from severe mental illness. And by the time Jean and her mother, Barbara, arrived in Houston at Dr. Now's hospital, well, that's not the end. Worst phases of life, her mother fell ill and had to be hospitalized, which made things worse for Jean. And she has to go through this gastric surgery all alone. Jean lost 53 pounds during her stay at the hospital. She was sent back home to carry on with her diet regime at home with there. She gained 30 pounds more but she was given a second chance because of her tenacity and dedication that this time she will try harder. But she miserably failed and managed to lose only 8 pounds in the next two months. By the end of the episode, she lost her father 
who died in his sleep, her mother also being ill, made her lose it so, in all of her pain. The combination of her mother's degenerating health and her father's death was too much for Jean. Does she have, like, really good chances? We couldn't take very good care of her. She ran back to her only solace and relief food. Jean lost 53 pounds during her stay at the hospital, but on her own. At home, she gained 30 pounds more but she was given second chance because of her confidence, but she miserably failed at it by losing only 8 pounds. After 6 months, the My 600 Pound Life Jean voluntarily left the show ending her treatment and left Houston to return home. While leaving, she said, I talked to my mom and we both decided we're not going back to Houston, Jean revealed. With my dad gone, we can't leave the dogs alone and I can't go by myself. So I'm just not in a place to do Dr. Now's program. I know I have to lose weight and I don't have a lot of time if I don't, but I don't know what to do about it right now. After she left the show, she sued my 600 pound life's production company, Megalo Media, saying that the company didn't fulfill its promise to pay her all the medical expenses. She even claimed that during the filming of the show, she didn't want to go on, but they were forced to do that. Even though she quit the show and got herself out of the program on her own, she blamed the doctor for being insensitive toward his patients in production for being inconsiderate and for not keeping their promises. When she left, she said that doctor didn't understand her to say that and she was going to lose her weight on her own. During her time on the show, Jean had to ask for her police's help to check up on the welfare of her father, who was found dead in his sleep, was no which stuck her to ground. She found herself, she felt stranded without her parents and was not willing to go on. After getting back emotionally after the tragic sudden death of her father, she seems to look more determined with her weight loss journey as she was reported saying, I have faith that there's an option out there for me and that somehow I'm gonna find it. Jean says after her episode, it's not over yet for me. This door may be closed, but another one will open. I'm just waiting for my next opportunity and I have to trust that if I'm patient, I'll get the chance to work hard to have the life I want. Throughout the show, Jean can be seen as a woman at the end of her limits, one of those people who for things somehow keep getting worse. Lamentably, the problems and tragedies mounted as Jean's debut, which are making things hard for her. It is very natural for viewers of the show's 600 pounds life to be eager to learn more about the present condition of Jean Covey after her episode ended with no positive outcome. It didn't seem like she was in a good state mentally, but fortunately, it appears as though things started to fall in place for her with time. Throughout her time on the show, Dr. Now alluded that she was not her for not determined enough to lose the weight necessary, which could lead her to surgery. She was emotionally distressed and also needed to work her emotional. Short comes which led her to the place was at, but instead of following the doctor-given regime, but instead of working harder, she kept getting defensive about herself and was unable to commit to the process, running the whole spirit of the show. Dr. Now recommended a therapist to Jean, but she refused and left. After leaving the show, her lack of appearance is causing many people to wonder if she's dead, as Dr. Nozeratin said that she was dying, because she's got a terrible infection on her inner leg, caused by fecal matter eating away at her skin. If that wasn't doesn't change soon. I had dropped out because I couldn't take it anymore. She will die and she doesn't have much time left. Since then, Jean hasn't been that exclusive, apart from a few photos. Last year, we found that Jean and her mother were still living together with their dogs. We do not know if she has lost any weight, but it can be said that she looks slimmer in her late, but it shows that she didn't drop from her peak. Last week, Jean shared her first full body picture, but it was reported that one of her dogs had to be put to sleep. Due to advanced cancer, we say unfortunately because the circumstances couldn't be sadder. We wish Jean the best with her life and that she would get closer to weight loss surgery so she could have a normal and healthier life. That's all for today's viewers from My 600 Pounds Life. Thanks for watching. This patient called it off and quit Dr. Now's program, Jean Covey. And if you liked the video, leave a comment below and rub the like button hard. Last but not least, don't forget to hit the bell icon and subscribe to our channel for our latest videos.